I'm Derek Boyer and I'm launching globally the Gladiator $10 a week challenge. The concept is simple, but the challenge is great. For one whole week, I'm going to live on just what I can spend on groceries with just $10. No freebies, no giveaways, no handouts. Each day, I'm going to walk five kilometers with a 10 kilo backpack on, and I'm also going to fulfill a 60 minute full body training circuit in the gym in which I train at. At the end of the week, if I'm successful with all those things, the money I've saved by doing this challenge, I'm going to donate to a local charity that deals with the homeless. They call Oz Harvest. Watch me in my quest now as I show you how it's going to be done. I'm going to show you what I spend on groceries, how I put the whole thing together, and my daily struggle to get this challenge done. Follow me now. I'm at the Human Performance Center in Miami on the Gold Coast to get the first body composition test, Bioscan, to see my starting point of the Gladiator $10 a week challenge. Here at HPC with the, the lovely Carol, I've just completed my starting bioscan, full body composition test. So here are the, uh, the main points of interest. I'm currently 112.9 kilos. My fat-free body mass is 103.2 kilos. Uh, my, my muscle, the, the current amount of muscle that I carry on my frame at the moment is 59.4 kilos. I have 9.7 kilos of fat on my body as we speak. My body fat percentage at the moment is 8.6% body fat. Really happy with that. Uh, also, my visceral fat at the moment is a very healthy 47.3 on the, uh, the measurement. Uh, apparently, I have a very, very good um, overall rating of 118 uh, on, on this scale and system. So um, apparently, very healthy at the moment. Um, I'm going to see what happens over the course of the seven day challenge as to what happens with all of this these results so stay tuned time to get it on seven yeah. days let's begin research I found myself here at Coco shopping market on the Gold Coast and I found this unbelievable special $2.98 for five kilos of washed potatoes this is going to be my staple for the next seven days six dollars I'm gonna walk away with ten kilos of potatoes for six dollars Just on my way now to Woolworths. I've already done some research on, and I think I'm gonna get my next $4 worth of value from there. When I decided to take on the Gladiator $10 a week challenge, it was important for me to research, research, research. And I found out about a great opportunity, which is about to happen here very, very soon. I'm at Woolworths at the moment, on the Gold Coast in Australia. And at three o'clock, pretty much every day, all the blemished or imperfect produce that they have, they put onto a special bargain bin that I can fill up for a bag, any bag in here, for $3. So I'm gonna see what they bring out. I think that's gonna happen pretty soon. So we'll see what happens. There you go, Steve. Oh, cheers, mate. Right, Delicious, yeah. We're done. 
Thank you, sir. Where's up? Come with me. I've hit the jackpot. Last coffee on sale, one dollar reduction. One dollar for this um, home brand granulated coffee. This is like my goal for the week. My last dollar, three dollars for this uh, bargain buy at Woolworths. One dollar for the coffee. That's my ten dollar spend. So I'm going to take it home right now with my six uh, six dollars spend on potatoes, which was uh, ten kilos. Plus this, plus the coffee, that's my $10 spend. That's what I'm gonna live on for the next week. Follow me to the checkout. How are you going? Hi, how are you going? Good, thanks. Like that, the please. produce cream in the yeah. And that's $3? Yes, $3 Perfect. for that one. Perfect. And I, I noticed this, which was the, uh, the last one on the rack for a dollar. Yeah, produce to clean? Yeah, that's no perfect. No worries. Comes okay. to $4? $4. dollars <laughs> my last $4. That's my ten dollars spent. No thank no you worries. so much. Thank you. And could I just please have a receipt for that? Not a problem. There we go. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, you too. All sorted. Three dollars worth of bargain buys at Woolworths. This is my goal for the week. Just a dollar for coffee. Can you believe that? So um, for four dollars, I've hit the jackpot. I'm gonna couple this up with the, the $6 spend that I did on uh, those 10 kilos of potatoes that I bought at Coco's. I've done my $10 spend. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna divvy it up now for the rest of the week, follow me. I've just arrived home and this is what I've bought with just $10. I did a lot of research um, before I went out. So here are the receipts for my purchases. All of this for just $10. Look at some of the things I've got. Look at these uh, strawberries, they're great. Look at these bananas. And mind you, remember, these, these products aren't new, you know, so um, they're, they're slightly tarnished in some way. Um, so I've got to treat each one, make sure there's no fungus on anything. Uh, if there is, I'm just gonna chop it off and throw it out. And, um, and all the good things I'm going to wrap up very cleanly and, and refrigerate. The refrigerator is my best friend for the next seven days. Refrigerator and Tupperware and a thermos for the coffee. Okay, so I've got all the food out, just about. Here it is, my $10 spend. Got all the potatoes, let's have a quick look at these. Peel these open, make sure that there's no uh, fungus on any of them. If you don't clean it straight away, it'll spread. And, uh, but this is my staple for the week. This is what I'm going to live on. Gotta be careful, I mean, they're slightly going green, so you know, as I said, they're at the end of their days, so, but they're still firm and very, very usable. Now that I've got all this here, I'm gonna clean and prep everything. So this is it. This is what I've bought for $10 after researching my local environment and um, making the most out of uh, some, some um, hardcore negotiations. But this is it. Now what I'd like to do is, is actually give thanks and, um, and, and say grace. Um, and praise for this food. Um, for this food, which will sustain me over the week to come, uh, I give great thanks. Uh, it's a precious gift uh, that I'll humbly receive and um, utilize uh, for, for other great benefit. And um, I, I am truly thankful and blessed. And I give praise, simple as that. Uh, this is what I'm, th this is my life source for the next week. Day one of seven. Today's the big day, the, uh, the first day. Last night, I, um, I bought all my meals, I prepped them, um, and I've, um, I've separated each meal pack for each of the seven days. So I've frozen everything. Look in here. This is a portion for one day. It's got Saturday on it. So that's Saturday's portion. So each one has been meticulously um, separated for for uh, its nutrients. Here's, um, here's the uh, the Sunday ration. They're frozen right now. I'll let this thaw out through the day, and um, you know this this will be great.
break kilojoules and energy prior to the workouts that I have to fulfill. So these bananas, they're great. This is, uh, this is my pre-workout and uh, even post-workout uh, recovery uh, nutrition. These avocados, they'll be great pre-workout. I've got a couple of uh, tomatoes here as well uh, that I'll also be uh, using as well. So this is my this is this is my nutrition pack for today. Come with me, and I'll show you the uh, what else I've made. Okay, so last night I froze um, everything, and. Uh, and this is going to be my uh, my pre-workout nutrition for today. These are great bananas, great color jewels. I've got some avocado here. This will be great pre-workout. Uh, not forgetting the uh, the one dollar reduced price coffee that I bought. This is something that I'll be looking forward to every single morning. Uh, I've got my uh, my cup of uh, Java ready to go, my big cup, and uh, uh, really enjoying that for the morning. This is my breakfast. One pair. That's it. Now, in saying that, uh, I'm not going to start um, each day unless I had two liters of fresh, clean water. That's what I start every day with. Uh, water, water is essential to life. If I didn't have any food for the next seven days and just drank water, I'd survive. It'd be very, very painful, very unpleasant, but I'd survive. So this is the most important thing that I can do every single day. Two liters of water, the first thing uh, that I do when I get up. I'm gonna split this up into Tupperware. Um, two thirds of this will go into this Tupperware uh, pack today. I will be grazing on this throughout the day. So I wanna try and split this meal up as many different portions throughout the day to stabilize my insulin output and just give me energy. So I'm going to prioritize though, uh, before my two workouts, I've gotta walk five kilometers and I'll do that in one hit and then I'll also do a 60 minute um, full gym uh, workout. I'll need some nutrients prior to that. So I'm going to be having more of this um, before those two workouts. So that's me for the day. This goes into here, simply pour it in. I'll just get a big spoon out first. The big spoon. Get that in. And this goes in. So like I said, I'm going to put two thirds of this, um, this meal that I made last night. It's full of potatoes. I had a little bit of corn for my rations and uh, a little bit of sweet potato as well. So two thirds, two thirds will travel with me throughout the day. And I've just got this for when I return home in the evening. This will be my evening meal. On top of that, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll get some frozen fruit, uh, some bananas, some tomato, and, uh, and one avocado that I'll use pre-workout. I've got my coffee. I've got two liters of water that I'm going to drink right now. And that's me for the first day. Okay, with the Gladiator $10 a week challenge, I'm allowing three condiments. These are basic staples that um, every household in the world basically has. Just a cheap, cooking olive oil, salt, and pepper, and that's it. All right, let's go to the gym. It's day one of the Gladiator $10 a week challenge. First gym session up on the treadmill. Five kilometers, minimum 10 kilo backpack or weight vest. Just woken up. Uh, it's day two of seven on the Gladiator $10 a week challenge. I've got my um, 
trusty cup of Java coffee. Really enjoying this. Just prepping my meals for the day ahead. This is my delicious potato soup, which I'll be living on for the uh, the rest of the week. Just getting sorted. Off to work. Big day ahead. Five kilometers and I'm bent. I think I need a banana or two, so I. Day three of seven on the Gladiator $10 week challenge, and I've started off well. I had a big bowl of potato soup this morning feel refreshed just about to complete my five kilometer walk uh four kilometers into it at the moment i've got my 10 kilo weight vest on and uh i've just got one kilometer to go straight down that road and i'm done seven of the gladiator ten dollar week challenge i need a coffee it's going to be a long day ahead i think five or seven on the gladiator ten dollar week challenge the most important thing that i can do each day is drink water i start each morning by drinking two liters of fresh clean water and then i try and drink as much as i can throughout the day i've prepped all my meals the night before as in a big broth of uh, potato soup i've frozen my vegetables and fruit i'm just having a cup of coffee right now before i begin <laughs> Day six of seven on the Gladiator ten dollar week challenge. There have been many teachings by doing this challenge. With such limited resources, you soon realise how precious any food that you have is. I don't waste anything. Day 7 of 7 on the Gladiator $10 a week challenge. I'm almost there. I can see the finish line. Today's going to be a great challenge. 
I'm going to work really hard and tomorrow I'm going to get my bias scan to see the results of my seven day challenge. Today's workout, we're going to hit everybody but I'm going to go through the machines, all of them. Uh, I'm going to do sets of 50 reps per exercise and I'm going to do them under continuous tension. So they're going to be nice and slow reps. Focus on my breathing and I'm going to hit everybody but with uh, probably more, more so on my abs and core. So I'm going to be uh, building in more exercise for that. the Gladiator $10 week challenge, day eight. So I'm just about to go in and get my final bio scan, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm feeling actually very vascular considering the fact that um, I've just been eating carbs for an entire week, uh, mostly consisting of potatoes. So um, it's going to be very interesting to see the results right now. Come with me, let's go and do it. <laughs> I started right. off at 112. Yeah, right. right on. Seven days later, I'm 111. That doesn't mean too much. No, no, no. You know, that's, that's your body weight change. change. So you reduce visceral fat significantly. Yeah. You reduce fat um, yeah. like a couple of kilos. My uh, my body fat percentage jumps from 8.6 down to 6.5. Oh, yeah. My yeah. muscle mass. Look at this. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't lost any. Oh, I've actually increased by yeah. 300 grams. Yeah, yeah, you've lost. So you've lost purely fat. So you turn yourself into a fat burning machine for a week. And put on 300 grams yeah. of muscle volume. Yeah. And and I, you know, my thoughts are just leading into this. I, I'm a hope hope high protein diet for the yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a bit of a shock to my system when I'm just looking at carbohydrates for the week. Correct. I didn't do any. Um, um, heavy intensive workouts because yeah. I knew I couldn't rebuild it. There's no yeah. protein. Were you doing a lot of cardio? I was, and yeah. I was doing a lot of pump sessions. So I was just pumping yeah. blood through yeah. the muscle yeah. Yeah. and engorging yeah. it with uh, glycogen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence the reason I think there's a, there's a volume increase. So 300 grams yeah. of uh, muscle volume. Definitely. Muscle volume, which, which is extraordinary. I feel very vascular. Yeah, 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 yeah. And lean as hell. And uh, I'm feeling really good. My met metabolic rate has actually increased as well. Yeah, because your muscle's gone up slightly. Yeah, that's why. So, so, so the correlation is clear to muscle mass. Started off at uh, 2,600. So, gone up just because that, that 300 gram increase. The significant thing for me to see a change is your visceral fat drop. Right. So, you, you come right right down so that the fat internally okay. has come down. So, that's where you made the significant drop. And that's um, that probably coincides, you know, in that, in that time, that week that you've done, although you haven't been as, you know, you've found it in a way, your GH would have increased. Yeah which is, you know, your fat burning hormone and, and muscle building. So that would probably be great, be great to see blood on that one. You know, if you had blood sugar the day to see that, that probably rise, that would raise significantly. And the fact that you're, um, uh, you, you probably focus on something, your cortisol levels probably came down as well. So- Let me ask you something. Yep. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Big increase, big when increase. you look at this, yeah. what are your thoughts on, on, on this week? Uh, mate, it's worked. <laughs> it's worked. Whatever you've done this week, it's worked. So your cardio is working. So. You know, um, it's interesting how people say this type of cardio doesn't work, this type of cardio. It's amazing what the body can do. Absolutely. And you've got to try. So, you know, you might try along the slide, but say, it doesn't work. Well, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And some people more so than others. But you basically put yourself in a really anabolic state this week. You've not been catabolic at all. You've lost body fat, and, and this, this does not lie. Get this. No protein. Yeah, yeah. No protein. I mean, that's how further our bodies are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so your, body, your body can do what it makes, whatever you give it. Obviously, a longer period of time, you might see some more negative effects. But initially, during that one week, you've uh, mate, you've really done one week what you would normally see in a four to six week period. You know, of pretty steady state eating and so forth. So, mate, that's a true testament. I've just completed the Gladiator ten dollar week challenge with great success. 
I've just completed the, uh, the bio scan and um, all these great things have happened. It's, um, it's been a truly amazing experience. And there have been many teachings. I've, um, I've learned so much. The main teaching, I guess, um, that I've had from this experience is, is my reconnection with the true value of food. I look at food very differently at the moment. Uh, you know, when you have only um, a small amount of resources to buy anything with, you look at food very differently. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the, the nutritional content of everything now rather than how good things taste. So, uh, and it's amazing, you know, when I'm sitting there halfway through the week, you know, um, peeling open a frozen banana, you know, the amazing experience that was, you know, just eating this, this amazing piece of food, you know, that comes from nature, it was, um, it was an amazing experience. Or a frozen tomato, for example, you know, pre-workout, it, um, it was really, really a uh, great experience. And that's been the, the highlight of my week, is this reconnection with food. I also had a couple of ups and downs, you know, there, there, were, there were times when I was very hungry. And, um, and funny enough, it was quite an, a pleasurable experience, you know, uh, being in control of the fact that, uh, uh, of, of that hunger. I could have gone out and bought something, but I didn't. I chose not to, and, um, and I persevered with the program. So I fulfilled all the requirements. I, I lived on just $10, worth of groceries for an entire seven days straight. On top of that, I, I conducted a five kilometer walk every single day with a 10 kilo backpack on uh, for the entire seven days and I also um, fulfilled a 60 minute full body training workout within the gym every single day for seven days. So I've, I've done all that. There's just one more thing to do as part of this challenge. Uh, at the start of the challenge, I placed that I spend normally $150 a week on food. Over the course of the week, only spending $10, I've saved $140. Now to celebrate my win uh, with the Gladiator Challenge, I've got one final thing to do. So the $140 that I've saved, I'm now going to give to a, a local charity that deals with the homeless. Here in Australia, they're called Oz Harvest. I'm about to go up and I'm going to donate this money to them uh, so that they can use it appropriately to feed the homeless here locally. So um, follow me and um, let's finalize the deal, the Gladiator $10 week challenge. Okay, the last thing to do, $140. We're here at um, Oz Harvest. Knock, knock. Hello. Hi, Lee. How are you going? Very good, thank you. Very good. Just at the uh, the last end of the challenge, yes. and um, and as I said at the start of the challenge, I, I placed that I normally spend 140, sorry, 150 dollars a week on food. Yes. I was successful with the uh, the Gladiator 10 dollar week challenge. Spent right. just 10 dollars for the entire week, so right. I've saved I've saved some money. And um, as a celebration of um, my victory, yes. I'd like to present Oz Harvest um, 140 dollars, which I've saved. Uh, by doing this challenge, yeah. um, I'd like to donate this to you guys, yeah. um, as 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 um, you know, part of my celebration for for beautiful. achieving this. That's uh, beautiful, and congratulations <laughs> on thank your you success. Very much. I've got a um, thank you certificate for you. Ah. As, a, as a challenge, you have succeeded in your challenge, so I thought it was fitting that you get a token to remember the challenge by. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Wow. As as a record of how many meals you're going to allow us to deliver. So $140 will let us deliver 280 meals to people in need. Awesome. So it's very powerful. I mean, that's just, you know, that, that's one person, one week challenge. Um, as a result of that, you're going to help us to deliver 280 meals, which is beautiful. I, I, I'm, I'm actually humbled by, uh, by this. Um, thank you so much. Thank and, you. Um, Th thank you once again. I, I, I got to give you a big hug. I think. Oh. The Gladiator Ten Dollar Week Challenge is a worthy challenge. It has many teachings, and the main reason why I would get you to take on this challenge is that it's a great opportunity to reconnect with the true value of food. All food is a precious gift. All food is energy, and you should waste nothing. So take up this challenge. It's simple. Pledge how much money you normally spend on food in a week, whatever that is. Live on just $10 spent for the entire week. Conduct some of the simple exercise programs that I've put up, and if you're successful at the end of it, the money you've saved 
Give that as a celebration to a local charity that deals with the homeless. It's simple. And it's a great way to give back to your community, which is a great way to end the program. Now, before you take on this challenge, here's a very important consideration. There are some health concerns. There is a, an amount of deprivation that you have to sustain. So you must be fit and healthy. Make sure that you get your doctor to give you an approval to do this program. You may feel like a small drop in the ocean when it comes to creating a significant change, but that's not true. Your efforts and courage will ripple out and influence and inspire many others whom you may never meet to also take up this challenge. So do it now. Take up the challenge by following the link back to my website and downloading the ebook Your Gladiator $10 a Week Challenge. And do it now. This ebook has all the strategies and method that you will need to succeed. Oh, and if I could ask you a small personal favor, please find three others just as motivated and passionate as you are to also take up this challenge. This is your best opportunity right now to become accountable and make a real difference.